Hey, what's up everyone? How you doing? Um, God told me to read you guys a bedtime story. This is not my lesson. This is just something that God wanted me to read to you. He called it your bedtime story. So I'm only to read it and that's it. It's one chapter. It's Isaiah, the first chapter, entire thing. Okay? Let's hit it. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, right? And he had four, three kings reign while he was a prophet for God. So, here we go. Israel's rebellion. Chapter 1, verse 2. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not, does not know. My people does not consider. God said, let me tell y'all something right now. I am the coolest, the endless, all of that. God said, did you just hear what I just said? That's my words. Uh, he said, the donkey know where his master's crib is at. God said, so don't be taking credit for, you know, my slang time. Right. God said, I give you all the words to use. He said, I say crib right here. Verse 3 in Isaiah. Right. The master's crib, the master's house, right? So God said, Don't tell me I ain't cool, whatever. I'll, I'll give you your words, right? Anyway, the ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know, my people does not consider. Sinf a sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evil doors, children and corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. They are gone away backwards, right? Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. And the whole head is sick, the whole heart faint. From the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and purifying sores, putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burnt with fire. Your land, strangers devour in it with your presence. And it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in a vineyard, as a lodge in a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, we should have been as Sodom. We should have been like unto Gomorrah. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me, saith the Lord? I am full of the burnt offerings of rams and the fat of fed beasts. And I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of lambs or of he goats. When he come to appear before me, who have required this at your hand to tread my courts. When he come to appear before me, who have required this at your hand to tread my courts? He like, um, excuse me, who told you to come here, right? I didn't, go ahead, right? Bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons, the new moons, y'all, the new moons and Sabbaths, the calling of assemblies I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even the solemn meeting. Your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hated. They are a troubled unto me. I am weary to bear them. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will hide mine eyes from you. Yea, when you make many prayers, I will not hear. Your hands are full of blood. Yo, sigh! Shut up! Wash you, make you clean, put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes, cease to do evil, learn to do well, seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool, if ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword, for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken you. How is it how is the faithful city become a harlot? It was full of judgment, righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. The silver is become dross, thy wine mixed with water. There's nothing potent within this city whatsoever. What there is nothing potent here whatsoever other than 
disgust, folly, right? Because he said, this is just like Sodom and Gomorrah right now, right? He said, if God wouldn't have saved 10% of us, we all would have been gone like every citizen of Sodom and Gomorrah. God killed every citizen of Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Every single one of them. So he said, if, you didn't, if God didn't save the 10% of us, then um, there wouldn't be any Israelites anymore, right? God saved 10% of the Israelites. I told you, over the years... Over these years, decades, God kept <laughs> killing the Israelites off. He was not playing with these Jewish people. So his last straw, he only saved 10% of the Jewish people. Right. That's why God says, stop getting cocky. For real. Do not be cocky with him. It don't matter who you are. Right. Even myself. Right. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. How has the faithful city become a harlot? It was full of judgment. Righteousness lodged in it, but now murderers. The silver is become dross. Thy wine mixed with water. Thy princes are re rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone loveth gifts and followeth after rewards. They judge not the fatherless, neither doth they cause. Neither doth the cause of the widow come unto them. So they saying people are selfish. They don't care about kids who don't have fathers. And they don't care about widows. Right. Therefore saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts, the mighty one of Israel, because these are the people that God always told his people to make sure were taken care of. But in this day and age, everybody is what? Fornicating. So, mad people out here with no, no daddies. Right. Right. Because their daddies got mad kids. Their daddies in jail. Right. Yeah. Mm -mm. God said, this is why I say you need to be married before you have children. You need to have your children within marriage. Right. He said, because when the father died and the mother became a widow, the people were supposed to help take care of the widow and that child till that child was old enough to work and help take care of the mom. Right. But everybody out here fornicating, making all kinds of kids and babies so nobody takes care of widows and fatherless children any longer. Right. It's too many of them. Right. And it ain't no widows anymore. Right. I mean, it is, but right. Not like it, it's supposed to be. Right. The princes are rebellious and companions of thieves. Everyone loves gifts and followeth at the rewards they judge the fatherless they judge not the fatherless neither does the cause of the widow come unto them therefore saith the lord the lord of hosts the mighty one of israel i will ease me of mine adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies god said i'm about to get rid of all my adversaries and i'm about to ease my mind i need some time to ease my mind so god said i'm about to ease myself all these adversaries and avenge me of mine enemies god said i'm about to vent. i'm about to wild out right god said you about to wild out right and i will turn my hand upon thee and purely and purely purge away thy dross and take away all thy tin right he said i will take away everything that you find valuable and i will restore thy judges at the first hand and thy counselors at the beginning Allow afterward thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. So God said after I thought finished tearing everything down, killing everybody, taking everything out, treating y'all pretty much like Sodom and Gomorrah until, you know, whatever, I'm tired. He said, Then you will be righteous and then this will be a faithful city. He said, I'm gonna break y'all down and for those who didn't sell their souls, he said and for those who, you know, just like thought it was cute to play the game a little bit, he said, No, what I'm gonna do for you is I'm gonna break you down to the very last seed and then I'm gonna have you begging to right, 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 to 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 to, to get some growth to you. I'm gonna you're gonna be begging to be get fertilized by God by the time he finished with you. Right. Right, and I will turn my hand upon thee and purely purge away the dross and take away thy sin, and I will restore thy judges at the first at the first and thy counselors at the beginning. Afterward thou shalt be called the city of righteousness, the faithful city. Zion shall be redeemed with judgment and her converse with righteousness and the destruction of the transgressors and the sinners shall be together and they that forsake the Lord shall be consumed. So sinners um, and transgressors shall be judged just alike, right? You will be forsaken by God. He don't care. He said get up out of his face. You don't want nothing to do with him. He don't want nothing to do with you. People don't understand. When you tell God get out your face, he tells you to get the hell up out of his face too. What the hell's wrong with you? When you tell you don't come back, you need to get more respect for your father. See, y'all so busy with these parents who y'all can cuss out. And them parents, you know, don't two-piece you, right, in your lips, right? Mm -mm. God said, you talk to me in the old kind of way. You're going to stay up on my face for good till I call you back into my presence. You don't call me into your presence. I ain't some spooky spirit. I call you to my presence, thus saith the Lord. For they shall be ashamed, and of the oaks which ye have desired, and ye shall be confounded for the gardens that ye have chosen. Right, I just what I just said. God said, you will be confounded. You will sit around looking real stupid because he will confuse you. 
it will whoop your ass. It confuse you to the point to where you sitting around like, what happened? Right. You, you right. Mm -hmm, mm. God said you're gonna be wondering what happened to you. You thought you had the upper hand, but he gonna two piece you and have you sitting there with the little birdies flying around your head. Since y'all love that nine of pentacles, but you shall be as an oak whose leaf fadeth, and as a garden that had no water. He said you will be like a tree that's that's um preparing for fall everything falling off of it right he said and the strong shall be as a toe and the maker of it as a spark and they shall both burn together and none shall quench them so what he's saying is um those who are out here live and direct acting a fool thinking you the king and queen of havoc he said oh <laughs> please enjoy please do enjoy i love the one who's out there acting a the fool i love the one who sparked the the movement against my children i love the person who sparked a kill my christians right god said i love the person who sparked the movement against my children because all of you will burn together in a fire that will never be quenched which is aka hell god said i'm gonna put y'all in the lower form of hell right i'm gonna put you where where did he say where the adversary what is it the false prophet the devil and um it was another one, right? You always forget him, right? But he said that's where you're gonna go, right? So that's your um your bedtime story. It is Isaiah, the first chapter, the entire first chapter. God is just telling you through Isaiah that I have to tear some shit up. I mean, excuse me, I have to tear some stuff up because y'all think I'm playing. Y'all just thought I'm making more. I saved ten percent. Of the Israelites. I saved my Christians. To help you guys in America and in the world get through. Whatever this spooky stuff is that took place. Thus saved the Lord in 2019 to 2020. God said I sent my Christians to have y'all back. I sent 144 to watch over y'all and have y'all back. And y'all shitted on 144. So God said don't you ever ask me for anything else. Anyone who shitted on Divinia don't you ever ask me for anything else. In Jesus name he said. Right. He has said I have to say in Jesus name amen himself. God said I had to give my son Jesus respect just then. On my daughter's behalf. God said, my word is fine on my son, Jesus Christ. You better not ever ask me for nothing if you disrespected Davinia during 2019 and 2020 for this whole nasty movement. He said, because first of all, you can't lie to me. I am God, but I am giving you the confirmation. Don't you ever ask me for nothing. Thus saith the Lord, if you have been playing games with my daughter Davinia, because I sent Davinia and 144 to protect all of y'all through this spooky shit. And what did y'all do? You turned on her. So stay y'all stupid asses out of my face, thus saith the Lord. And if you think he's playing, say a prayer and see what he say to you. Right. God said, I ain't playing with none of you motherfuckers. Right. He said, what did I say? The master's cred. I create all words. So if I want to say motherfucker, I could say it. Thus saith the Lord. I created all words. Right. 